Rowan Doc, y'all come back and visit now. Thank you. All right, buddy. Good to see y'all. All right, dear, let's see. We gotta get in our news right here. And then Robert D. and Rayful Ray, we got Lane in from Products for Good to talk about something else we got new on these Patriot Pack coins. Hang on. Good morning, I'm Leslie Taylor with Fox News on 99.7 WRFX-FM, Kannapolis, Charlotte's Fox. This news brought to you by Chick-fil-A. A 35-year-old man listed in critical condition at CMC after he was shot by police on North Tryon Street last night. Police Chief Rodney Monroe says the man refused to pull over for a traffic stop. When he finally did stop, he shot at officers who returned fire. Monroe says the man was wearing a bulletproof vest. In Gaston County, the SBI is investigating the fatal shooting of a man by police. Last night, police responded to a shots fired call on Starview Lane east of Dallas. John Moore Jr. moved toward officers with a handgun when they told him to drop the gun. That's when officers fired. A statement from CMPD says a fist fight between two police officers has ended with one suspended and one facing termination. The two officers who fought about a month ago identified as Mark Click and John Major. I'm Leslie Taylor, Fox News. Good morning, I'm Gary Hess with the Fox Morning Sports Minute. Duke advanced to the championship game of the 2K Sports Classic last night, beating Southern Illinois 83-58. Carol Henderson board in 20 as the Blue Devils improved to 4-0. Next up for 10th ranked Duke, a date with Michigan in the championship game. The Wolverines upset UCLA 55-52. North Carolina plays at Cal Santa Barbara tonight. The Tar Heels on their way to Hawaii to play in the Maui Invitational next week. Thursday night NFL in Pittsburgh, the Steelers handled Cincinnati 27-10. Coach Mike Tomlin happy with what he called a great team win. But we stumbled out the gate a little bit, both offensively and defensively. Uh, they got up on us, but the guys didn't blink. Uh, we stuck to the plan. We got some execution, uh, and, and we were able to get a victory. Panthers back on the practice field today, getting ready for Sunday's divisional battle in Atlanta. The Bobcats also in Atlanta tonight to face the Hawks. ACC College Football, Georgia Tech beat Miami 41-23. And Matt Kenseth has signed a multi-year contract extension with Jack Rouch to stay in the number 17 Ford. I'm Gary Hess, Fox Sports. If you can increase the effectiveness of your brain, would you do it? If you could discover an easy way to make your brain smarter, stronger, and faster for absolutely no cost at all, would you do it? Well, now you can with a free demo of IQ from Infinite Mind. Right now, we'll send you an absolutely free demo showing you how easy it is to increase your brain power in as little as seven minutes. Call 1-800-700-2474. What have you got to lose? Call now to get your free demo. Call IQ at 1-800-700-2474. That's 1-800-700-2474. My kitchen likes to sleep in. Actually, my kitchen really doesn't like to be disturbed before noon, but I know all my kitchen's sacked out. McDonald's kitchen is wide awake, making scratch-made biscuits, mixing the dough, rolling it out by hand, and baking them up flaky and buttery. Take that, you lazy kitchen. Start your day with a McDonald's scratch-made sausage biscuit with egg sandwich. Right now, get two for just $2. Mmm, breakfast. Prices and participation may vary. Ask for details. McDonald's presents... Confessions of a fake folk fan. Don't judge me. I just really liked mochas. But soon I started wearing clogs and playing mandolin and dating lazy beatniks. But McDonald's McCafe mochas took me away from all that. Now I'm wearing synthetics and listening to hip-hop again. Thank you, McDonald's. McCafe mochas, lattes, and cappuccinos from McDonald's. With fresh ground espresso and real steamed milk, it's all the coffee, all the attitude. At participating McDonald's. Attention race fans, Tannic under Toyota has 20 limited edition Toyota Tundra pace trucks used in the Bank of America 500. These fully equipped 08 Tundras start at 24.9 or choose 0% APR for 72 months. Only at Tannic under Toyota, South Boulevard in Charlotte. Traffic sponsored by Town & Country Toyota. <laughs> Damn, this traffic, damn. Mike's slow on 85 South this morning around I-77. It's not just a typical volume, but an accident on an 18 wheel. He's not blocking the lane of travel, but that visual distraction is adding to our delay on 85 South around exit 38. Off the interstate, big stories of Canapolis. Highway 3 to north of Davidson Road shut down because of a building fire. That's traffic. Terry Quinn. Hey, the Fox is Jeff Kent here after the big show this morning. 60-minute commercial-free classic rock marathons. Got your Eagles concert tickets again today, too. And back to more big show fun. John Boy and Billy on the Fox. Good morning. The big show is on the radio. I'm Robert E. Rayford. He says some of his listeners need to see an... Autologist, a, a, a an ear doctor. No, oh, okay. We'll turn it over to him. 
Paul in Richmond, Virginia writes, Dear Mr. Rayford, caught your opening commentary this morning concerning media bias, opinion polls, and such. The mainstream media is indeed biased towards Democrat candidates and policies. You often quote such far-left sources as the New York Times and the Washington Post. Anyone who cannot see that these rags are pro-Democrat in their reporting is in denial. The Pew Research Center is hardly a nonpartisan source. I believe the reason you're unable to recognize this is because you are part of the liberal machinery. Going further, perhaps you're what they used to call a red diaper baby, one who was raised in a communist home. The big show must also have a conservative spot every half hour to offer a counterpoint your left-wing opinions. Hey, the big show has four hours of counterpoint, and I'm only on uh, not every half hour, but just on the hour. But they have four hours of counterpoint from the far right, and at least uh, three daily counterpointers, plus any guests they choose to have on. Here's one. Hmm, who's this one from? Well, anyway. Now that your candidate of choice has won the presidency and the Democrats have gained control, don't you think the Palin beating you like to give should come to an end? After this morning's comments and lies by you, I've lost all my...